Hi guys, today I want to show you guys how to catch crab using a rope with a chicken thigh tied, uh, tied onto it. Yeah. This is one of the easiest methods out there and unlike crab snares or crab traps, this method is one of the most simplest way to catch crabs. Here are the three things you need. A rope, it doesn't have to be too thick. You can even use fishing line if you want. Some chicken, ideally the chicken thigh because it is chunky and makes it easy to tie your rope on. And something for weight, preferably a fishing sinker weight because it is easier to tie that onto the rope than rocks. Optional item, a small bait net. This will help you land the crabs easier when you get them. Tie the weight to the rope and then tie the chicken thigh to the rope. It doesn't have to be pretty as long as the weight and the chicken is tied close to each other, it will be fine. This is the most minimal rig that can get you started on crabbing. Okay, everything is set. Let's go catch some crab. Find a hole that you feel good about and drop the rope down. Usually, I leave the rope in the water for 5 to 10 minutes. And if you don't get anything up to 5 to 10 minutes, that usually means there are no crabs hiding around the area. So I suggest move on to a different spot and keep repeating until you find a spot that yield you some crabs. Unlike fish, when there are slightest movement in the bait, they will be ticked off and swim away. Crabs, on the other hand, when they find food, they have the tendency to cling and hang on to the bait. But they don't always hang on to the bait tightly. Here's a good example of that. This female crab clinging on the bait loosely. So when I pull on the rope, it came off. Here's another smart crab hiding under the rock where it has established a strong footing into the crevices. So when I pull the rope, the chicken gets torn and the crab gets a free meal. Crabs are pretty persistent. Even after it retrieves into the rocks, just leave the bait in the water a little longer, they usually will come back for it. However, you don't want to leave the bait in the water too long because either the bait will be eaten up by the crabs or the crab might pull the bait into the hole. Here, I left my bait in the water a little too long and it almost got stuck. So a good practice is that try to leave the bait in an open area where it can attract the crab out of the hiding spot nearby. This way, they have less surface to cling to when we pull from the other end. A good practice to land the crab is lift the rope gently but swiftly out of the water and at the same time put the bait net under the crab. This way if the crab let go of the bait, it will be catched by the net. Another observation I have made is that if you catch one crab in one spot, it usually means that there could be more crabs nearby. Here's a good example of that where I see two more crabs after I pull up that one crab from the same spot. Five and a half inches. Zoddering. Actually, this is a recipe recommended by one of the subscribers. I'm trying it out. This is very uh, strange recipe. I wanted to choose crab oil with the green sauce. Body. Okay, I think this is ready. Ooh. Oh boy. This tastes sweet, a little sour, and savory, spicy. So it's got all, all the flavors already. Alrighty guys, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys learned something or at least find this useful. So maybe next time when you go out crabbing and um, you can use this method and it's one of the easiest way to catch crab. 
Um, so yeah, good luck to you guys and uh, crap on. See you guys next time. Peace.